Dr. Disrespect has returned to the internet chat. Oh my God. We've seen his return stream and clips from it, but for the sake of this video, we're going to watch Jamari. So it has been a couple of months Kai's now since we last Tell talked about the Dr. Disrespect. Yes. Respect situation. Last time we caught up with him, it was not looking good for this cosplaying 42 year old man. As Damn. he had been outed well, as an EP, like or at least so we thought. His former Twitch employee had come forward saying he got banned because he got caught a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers products. Uh -huh, he was uh -huh. trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that could be read in plain he text. Has returned. Case closed, gang. Followed up with no one made the wrong decision him and his boys this tweet Damn. would come years after dr disrespect was banned from i ain't gonna lie we went to a youtube convention uh last week in dallas oh. and i could have swore i saw him out of out of costume out of costume i saw this really tall dude with that stash and i'm looking at him and i'm like why you look familiar and he was he was like walking really really fast and i'm looking at him i'm like I know your face. I think it was him. I'm not, I could be wrong, but I thought it was Doc. <laughs> Twitch, <clears throat> even years removed from his eventual settlement, where Twitch paid him out his entire contract. Of course, this would send the internet into a frenzy, as many looking on long questioned why he had been banned from Twitch so abruptly. At the time of his ban, he was averaging over 32,000 concurrent viewers per stream, and with him <clears throat> being one of the biggest on the platform, a lot of people on had Twitch questions. Too. At the time, this was all he had to say. I make probably a fourth, a quarter of what I was making on Twitch. I've known for months now the reason why. And I'll just say this right now, champs. There's a reason why we're suing the f out of them, okay? You think a big time company like Nike is gonna wanna work with that big question mark? That's, we've been heard him say that about Twitch, but that puts it into perspective, bro. Kick revenue split is great. It's great for creators, especially mid-tier to smaller creators. But like, at a certain level, the Twitch shit is irrefutable. It just, yeah, you it's just can't. Because, like, YouTube's monetization is great. <clears throat> but for streaming, it's like Twitch, they they can't make people. no money for themselves. But for the top streamers, boy, they can make a lot, which is crazy. You should be going kicked in. Ah. Uh, it, it very it's harder hard. to get subs over there though. Yeah, it's, it's hard way to hard. Sub. Like I love streaming on Kick, but it's such a hard getting people to want to sub. Yeah, because you. you sub on Twitch to get rid of ads. Yeah, and then the gifting and shit—they just made it easier and straight line and shit. You sub on Kick strictly for support, which is cool. The it's ninety-five five split for most people, most of the creators, but. It's like, you know, it's a it's a give and a play. Yeah, because it's like, a give and a play. Like I know for a fact if I was on if I was on Twitch, I would gain way more subs, but I wouldn't make as much money as I make on Kick. Exactly. So it's a it's a hard it's a hard little and, But sometimes it. well yeah, and they got other shit too yeah. on there. But yeah, yeah, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a give and a in a play. Or Disney. Sucks. Cash here. But then once the allegations dropped all these years later, he posted this now deleted tweet where he said that he was always keeping it real and that he wanted to apologize for his wrongdoing. Keep in mind, this was after he was allegedly booted Ooh. from his gaming studio with the CEO yeah, yeah. publicly condemning his behavior, also losing yeah, several yeah. partnerships after this news broke, saying that he was never allowed to talk about the reason that he was banned from Twitch before, likely due to legal reasons, but now since Cody had tweeted about the situation, it was fair game. Admitting that there were indeed inappropriate messages between him and a minor back in 2017 when he was 35 happened. to 36 years and old, saying that, that, that these were casual conversations that shit. sometimes yeah. lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Claiming that no crimes had been committed in the process, flame, while also flame, admitting flame. that he never should have entertained these conversations in the first place, and that the mistake was his as the adult in the situation. Also so taking a moment to tell his haters that he wouldn't be going anywhere and that he is not the same guy who was in his 30s sending these inappropriate messages via Twitch and that he would be on vacation until further notice. Now it right, would be right, radio okay. silence until around a month later when he would post this tweet insinuating that he was playing chess while his enemy- Boy, the, the, I'm not gonna lie. This is cold. R cold idea, wrong person. 
and they mean the fuck out of this. Yeah, they put a, a they put kid a kid because the low angle got his ass. were playing checkers. But this ended up backfiring on the self-proclaimed doctor <laughs> as he would get trolled relentlessly in the replies. The heat Got was so bad, that. in fact, that he had to take the time to reply to some of his detractors. Little brainwashed woke boy putting out Dragon Ball Z GFX with Kendrick Lamar lines. Got me big time. One month later, vacation is just too good right now. We'll be back soon though, champs. Sure, we have lots to talk sure. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are people still streaming video games? <coughs> what a snooze fest. What are you doing, Doc? Relaxing in the land. Did he not come back to stream video games? Yeah. Okay. With the windows down, back from La Vacation, 15 year olds in the passenger seat. Wow. And now on September 5th, a wow. couple of months removed from the allegations, he would post a hype video of his return, where the intro shot is him riding in on a speedboat, combing his mustache, and announcing the comeback. Funny enough, he was trolled once again here, as people the questioned which island he was oh. riding in from. Regardless, both he and everyone knew at this point that he would <clears throat> return. And in his comeback, he would announce that he would be planning to regain monetization from you. YouTube, which was stripped from him in light of the recent allegations. Oh, I got some traps on him, huh? He would also acknowledge the entire Twitch ban situation. For almost four years, the public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. I guess since you all missed the point with my personal statement, maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. He got this fake my lawsuit down against down Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. Now, Doc would take time to specifically call out Cody Connors, aka the Twitch employee that opened Pandora's box with his tweet. Right, Cody right, Connors, right, right, right. ex Twitch right. employee, wasn't <laughs> even involved. Leaks. That nigga, that nigga was like fucking rat. I'll be honest with y'all, chat. I'm gonna go on, go on the record and say say this here. Hey, Doc, I know you might see this because uh, we are a million subscriber channel. You know, you might, you might. <laughs> we're big streamers. You know, we're we're part of the top ten percent on the platform. So, so you might yeah. see this. You know, because uh, currently averaging fifty two thousand live concurrent viewers. You might not ever see that stream, but I suggest you pop by to Internet City Arcade on Twitch. Oh, um, go ahead, say your message. Say what, you, say what you got to fucking say. Okay, okay. okay. Right. Um, see, I'm going to be honest here, man. Uh, two time. Uh, you did your fans a disservice. Right. All right. Let's say, let's say for any bit of, you know, truth to what you're saying, that right. all this was a plan and this, uh -huh. that, and the third. Because of how you said everything and you said it in with so much amb ambiguity and so much just vagueness, uh -huh. you led too many people, including your fans, to believe that you did do wrongdoings. Yep. And if you were doing that just for a lawsuit, for one, you're a terrible person, but for two, you did your fans a disservice, you did your supporters a disservice. Because you should have been more clear so people know to support you. And now you're dragging people who did support you because the way you put out your statement, uh -huh. it sounded like you was sexting a minor, dude. Yeah, it sounded like you was guilty of what you was guilty of. Yeah. So and let's say this whole thing, tweet apology was a ruse, was a yeah. was false. How can you blame somebody for believing that you was Texted a minor if that's what your tweet said. Yeah, and how you worded it. Yeah. So how you worded it caused if, people if you to know, believe in a certain if way. If you know you're putting this out on purpose to say a certain thing on purpose, how can you be mad at somebody for believing that you're actually apologizing for the the thing? Yeah, bro. I don't. It's, it's like the way you handled the situation. Like, granted, um, part of me, I don't believe anything you say anymore. Uh, and, I, and I'll be completely honest. And I know that doesn't mean anything to you. Because who am I? But He doesn't need straight up. He just came <coughs> back. He, he literally just came back the other day. But it's it's just a very interesting. I just feel like you've ruined your own notoriety and your own name by the, by the way you handled this situation. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the wrong, it's no point in defending it. You feel me? Like, granted, he, he he came back on YouTube. He was streaming on YouTube the other day. Yeah, granted. I was watching him live. Granted, you just out the loop. Granted, <laughs> he did have the um, 
by legality standards, you are innocent. But because of everything else, it just seems. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. This Which clip is, is from him streaming the other day. Cody, why, why you, why do this? Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time? You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was seeing a minor through whispers messages. <laughs> do you even know what the legal definition of seeing is? I do. <coughs> and yeah, I used Twitch's whispers, but trust me, I wasn't seen anyone now this is the weirdest part of his comeback stream where he basically not gonna lie. A dream. i do think i do think it was wrong of youtube to remove his monetization without having the facts yeah 100 i don't believe that youtube would have the facts about what him and twitch yeah was doing so i do think it was wrong of them to remove his monetization because i I don't think it's they, hard for me to believe they had the facts of the situation. They don't have the legality. Yeah, they yeah. don't have the, the document. Yeah, it's hard for me to believe they do. Truth be told, bro, if they removed his monetization because of that, that nigga can sue you too. Yeah. Like, unfortunately. Exactly. So it's like, <clears throat> while, while we may think he's guilty and we may be happy with his monetization being gone, I don't think they knew. The legal, the, the the right information to be able to do that yeah. legally, yeah, or, or, or for whatever reason. Drake and tries to act like he fed <coughs> the media false information purposely when he said himself that he had engaged in inappropriate conversations with a minor. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was uh, emphasized in my statement, edited, etc., just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. And right there, the the him, you're you're laying bait for people to get so you can possibly sue. I just don't trust this. I don't think anyone's that meticulous. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone's that purposeful. And then on top of that, if you're trying to prove your innocence, why would you do why that? Why would you do that? That's stupid. Why would you meticulously do that? That's stupid. You wouldn't do that even if it was for the clicks. Exactly. <laughs> And boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? You didn't. Neither did any of these journalists. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, dog. What you, what you say? This is your tweet. You can't, you're, you're blaming people for them. No one, bro, no one believed or didn't believe you did X, Y, Z until you, you made said, that tweet. Yeah, you made that tweet. It was like, oh, he's done. Yeah, And then bro. your gaming company had kicked you for, well, that was before the tweet, but you know what I'm saying? And neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. I even used the word inappropriate, purposely. And look at how it was defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. I'm sorry, but <clears throat> mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. This dude really thinks. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, bro, um, because this is something I did want to say. The nigga said, uh, they said release the whispers. The nigga said, what is this high school? Yeah. If you have nothing to, to hide, hide, release the whispers. whispers. If you had nothing to hide, that's your proof right there. Because granted, you could be in a whisper saying some crazy, like, dark humor shit, okay? I, at this point, I, 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 I'm going to be so real. Jamie Pye, appreciate it. I'm going to be so real, chat. This, this is going to be a hot take. This is going to be the hottest hot take ever. And I'm so apologizing. I'm like, get this canceled. I'd be okay if you saying racist-ish to, to people opposed to exiting a minor. I would be way okay if the inappropriate stuff in there is racist, I'd take that over exiting a minor. Yeah. Granted, we make racist jokes all the time. About all our the own, time. About our own people. But, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, whatever's in there, as long as it's not that, bro, release it's it. It's got to be bad enough for you not to release exactly. it. Exactly. What is this, high school? Nigga, you're in a drama about exiting an underage person. It's worse than high school, nigga. You're 30.
Forty. Forty. Forty-two. Yeah, this is the worst in high school. What are we talking about? He's out here playing 4D chess by creating PDF file allegations against himself. Like he really thinks he got one over on everyone and these various journalists that he's so mad at with the family information too. that he said. This Epstein angle was the shit that I expected. Now, to be fair, people who said that he was specifically seeing someone underage and that he wanted to meet up with them if that was not the case, should be held liable for lying about that. But most people I saw were just reporting what he himself said in that now deleted response tweet where he specifically said the word no. minor. And now he wants to act like, oh, this was some exactly. genius move to You, you said it. You, you said it. Self-employed his Put entire fingers. brand. All for an illogical gotcha moment. How would each of you look? If all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by someone who's deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words. Well, you know, I'm pretty- You know what, bro? I'll be honest, man. You go through my, my text messages, my DMs, messages with my friends, you will find I'm a racist. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna find crazy messages, but there's actual context to the messages. That's actual, this joke came from a meme, this Yo. joke came from something that happened, but it just said it in text randomly. It's, it's actual context. You find out that I'm freaky, I'm sometimes sus with the homies, nigga, I, I spend money unnecessarily. Yeah, hey, come on, player. I hate my Hellcat. Pretty sure the <laughs> average almost 40-year-old person is not out 82? here messaging kids, so why would we need to go through their chat logs? The same employees that decided to ban me DMs get internally admitted <laughs> that the whisper <laughs> messages were not... Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. Now, honestly, it's not looking good at all for Twitch, because the way they botched this entire process was her... And with the and no, the thing nobody's talking about, Twitch's response. Twitch had a response. What did they say? I forgot, but I remember Twitch had a response um about the whole situation. And like me and uh me and Simba were talking about it, and it's like they had some ability to to come forward and tell people. But they did. But they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doc makes it sound like this was all essentially a hit job, and that he had a partner manager for years that did not like him at all. And then when he got renewed, for and nah, Twitter would change it up. Aaron, if you ever release your messages, you wouldn't be funny racist. You would be racist. You understand? Nah, I'd be funny racist. For his partnership with Twitch back in 2019, he then requested a new partner manager, and that only a few months later, the old partner manager was the one pushing for this person on the other side of these messages to file an official report with Twitch. And even after that person allegedly did so, and Twitch decided no wrongdoing had been done, Doc claims that- I can't lie, that's cool as hell. That's cool. The nigga characters are cool, cool, bro. I can't lie, that's cool as hell. The reason I'm hating, I'm hating lie, big time, cool he got the he got the character, the fake bravado, and all that shit down pat, bro. If it wasn't this controversy, the shit he was saying would be cool. But it's, <laughs> it's the fact that we can tell you lying and all of this shit. You acting fake tough. The fake tough was cool before the controversy. But now in this, it's, it's just like... It's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That same ex-partner manager personally escalated the situation to the Twitch law enforcement and response team to attempt to make this a criminal matter. The Twitch user tells this ex-Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. But this ex-Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch even though the user told him clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged. On June 24th, 2020, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. They find no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. So Doc claims here that this ex party yeah, manager read. had a friend over at the Twitch law read. enforcement really team, know and the then basically are. they cherry picked <clears throat> messages from these chat they gotta be something and bad. sent them to a director at Twitch, and that basically within one hour he had already been banned. The LER analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context Jeez, what up, from the whisper messages up, to this director. Now, if you do this, you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate, even when they aren't. 
Hey, shout out to Tan Superman, bro. Tan Superman. This shout is his. This is his tweet. Shout out to Tan. It's his tweet, bro. Within less than one hour, this LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from Twitch. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me, <coughs> while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were legal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and, and received. Twitch makes- Here's why I believe, in my opinion, mm -hmm. that allegedly mm -hmm. the settlement was because they had to. Mm -hmm. I think he got caught. Mm -hmm. I believe, in my opinion, that he was messaging a 17 year old. Mm -hmm. He got caught. They banned his ass. But what I also think is that A, Twitch probably didn't have a right to go through his messages or something along the sorts. Mm -hmm. And B, I think the age of consent in the places that these two individuals were was probably 17. So legally, they didn't have the right to do what they did. So they had to settle with him and pay him his money. Mm -hmm. Now, does that make what he did right? Mm -hmm. Hell no, nah, nigga, you're 40. Mm -hmm. It's weird mm -hmm. as hell. Mm -hmm. You know. That's what I I think. Technically, it wasn't a minor, sir. Uh, I like what he said. Come the on, age, plan. I think like he said, like he said it himself, the age of consent. Yeah. I think he won the lawsuit or got the settlement because of technicalities. Yeah, because if we if we be completely honest, right? Minor is defined anyone under eighteen. Shut up, Mikey. You smart. Yeah. Yes, that tends to happen when the you've been I around do, the time. Hey, ban that nigga. That's crazy. Wait, huh? Uh, but yeah, he he had to take the straight down. These clips that you're watching is literally from the <clears> stream <throat> that was up two days ago. Or three days ago, however long ago it was. So it's probably taken down. It's this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. Fucking unbelievable! Now, and so, so let's let's like you say, they a minor is anyone under eighteen, right? Uh huh. They could have been of age of consent in their state, which is seventeen, right? right? Or is there some states where it's lower, possibly? No, not states. Okay. So, say it's 17, right? It, it could be 17 in that in that state, whatever. But the kid is 16. We don't know that. We don't know that. Nobody knows how old the person was except the people that was in the lawsuit. It's 16 in Iowa. Okay. So, oh, 16 in Iowa. So, let's say 16, right? Right. If the person is 16... They are still technically under a minor. They're still technically a minor because they're under 18. But it's, there's a consent thing. But there's a consent thing, yeah. yeah. So I think you're right. By legality standards, that's where it's weird. Yeah, I think he got it by I think he got it by legality. Yeah. But nigga, it's 16 year old, 17 year old, 40 year old. Yeah, it's still weird because you also have to be This honest. is not 40 and 25. 50 and 32. Hell, this ain't even 30 and 20, nigga. This ain't 30 and 20. Nigga, this is 17 and 37. Or 38 or 40. 40, 40, 40. Nigga. Come on. 42 well, he 42 now. now. 38. 37, 38. 39, 39. No, nigga, four years ago. It was ago. four years ago? I thought it was yeah. three. 2020. He got banned in 2020. Oh, okay. Bad, 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 bad. Yeah. So, at the lowest, he could have been 37. 37 and 7. Nigga. That's a 20 year old difference with the younger person being in school. Yeah. That's not a 50 year old sugar daddy and a 30 year old grown ass woman. Yeah. Come on, bro. So I, I feel like, and I feel like, so by legality standards, as much as I hate to say this, talking about it. Legally, he shouldn't right. have got banned. Legal, legally, he probably shouldn't have got banned legally, allegedly. Allegedly. So, as long as there's no true sexting involved, yeah. By all the guy with these standards, 
He should still have his Twitch. Yeah. He should still be able to stream. He should still be able to monetize. But is it weird? Yes. But he should face the criticism for it. Yeah, for sure. But legally, he probably shouldn't be banned. And that's why I said the thing I said about YouTube. I don't think YouTube should have had the right they don't. To, to do that. Yeah, they don't. Now, granted, if they made that decision based off his tweet, nigga, that's your fault. Yeah. You said that shit in a crazy way. Yeah. That's your fault, nigga. Yeah. So, like somebody said, legally gray, morally black. Yes, 100%. There we go. Now I can see why Twitch had to pay off the entirety of his contract. <laughs> well, Reaper Soul. Because the steps they took to essentially so fire this man were both and they probably unprofessional took a botch and rushed to say to the least. It. He even speculates here that they targeted what him. So the judge in the case determined that the whispers were not illegal. So then why did Twitch use these messages against me? I, I Why did Twi Twitch treat the doc so differently from their other streamers? Outside of the obvious. I did I did have that question. If a judge, right? If it was presented in front of a judge where uh -huh. a judge is like What up, my dude, somebody stole your name, Twitch. Yeah, somebody did st uh, steal your name. Instead dude. of D E W, they put D U E. Yeah. <laughs> um so my question is, and this is this is what what kind of got my gears going, right? If it was settled out of court, right? Uh-huh. And the judge themselves was like yeah, this is not bad. It's not legal. I mean, it's not it's illegal. illegal. Yeah. It makes me wonder, like... Do. Do. For those on YouTube, Mountain Dew... It's on the screen. Mountain Dew wrote, Who stole my name? You getting pregnant, nigga. Nigga, you gay. <laughs> You gonna shoot that nigga club off till he, <laughs> till he never gets pregnant? Cause he ain't, he ain't going. It ain't gonna happen. I just won't go. That make it even worse. It's a war. That nigga walk on ready to got after do wood. Man, what you doing? But nah. So like, if if the judge is like, yo, this not illegal, right? Hear my question, chat, and y'all y'all let me know if I'm wrong. Should not have reinstated his Twitch. Um, they probably still have the right to keep the ban. Maybe because it's a private company. I don't think Dream of Chris or some uh, of the maybe? others who got caught got bans. They true, just got to walk true, away. true, true. Granted, Chris did. T Chris probably had a channel, but he didn't. Wasn't like a main. I don't think Dream did anything. Dream proved himself innocent. But granted, that nigga Gumball or Trisha Watterson fucking dog that nigga. <laughs> you know how like niggas be like, that's not my president, nigga. That's my gun ball. No, 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 this is your dream. Like, I don't got no, I don't got no smoke with your dream. Oh man, hey. unfiltered. Second doc see Twitch. The he already did in this industry. He won. Six. Well, he got, yeah, he got his money. Gorgeous, athletic, <clears throat> successful, college degree, college athlete, bourbon business, gaming. All of that, and you're still an idiot. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, bro. All of that, and you dumb as hell. You gonna list up all these accolades and shit that make you sound smart, and you the one in the drama, nigga. Yeah, bro. Come on, bro. All of that, and you cheating on your wife, and and talking crazy with somebody under the age of eighteen. Come on, bro. And this is not even the first time you got caught cheating. Come on. So bro. I don't want to hear it. Come on, bro. No, that shit don't mean nothing. Studio, beautiful family. I'm sorry, but hearing a 42-year-old man dressed up like this call himself the realest in the industry... <laughs> he got caught! At the end of the day, I think the two things can be true. I think that this band. guy is relying on a lot of legal Probably. gray areas and excuse for this screw-up. Yep. But with that being said, Twitch completely f***ed up this entire process. They fumbled the investigation, and they paid the price for doing so. Yep. And it's my belief that more people will now be sued. This dude, Cody, totally f***ed both Twitch and himself for putting Indeed. this tweet out after they had already settled all of this yeah. years ago. But I also feel like for this fool to just sit and play the absolute victim is crazy. At the end yeah. of the day, at least to me, the direct line of messaging just never should have happened in the first place. Yeah. But I don't accept to sit and quietly by and let these idiots attack me with false accusations, no. Yeah, at this point, I just feel like we need to see the message logs. And we need to know the age of the person at the time that he was messaging them. That would be like the ultimate slam dunk in him completely pulling out this reverse Uno. If he could really prove that the messages were basically a joke. And that they were with someone who was of age. But when asked on stream if he would do that, this was his response. 
people want to show the messages, release the messages, show the messages. <laughs> what is this high school? What is this? What are we in second grade? He didn't know what to no, say. Sure he, he didn't know what to say. He didn't know what to say. <laughs> the message, he... Release the messages, show the messages. What are we in second grade? Almost eight no. seconds, nigga. I know what to say. He been so confident at home. And mind you, he was rambling. He was, he was spitting off all the legal shit. When it comes to that, had no idea what to say. I'm sure he will continue to stream and have a lot of fans supporting him. I even had a lot of them come into my old video I made about him a couple of months back saying like, oh, this day and age well. When honestly, I don't think he really did a whole lot of help for himself here. I mean, he didn't, he didn't. post any actual evidence. He didn't post a single screenshot. And his big gotcha moment was himself creating this apparent false narrative that he's a pdfile like oh you got us dude i guess i just really don't he understand was trying to be a he character didn't come but he didn't say all he didn't this have off a... the rip and not make the other statement that was my that was what I, that's something i had told simba what it doesn't make sense that he didn't say all this originally if he would have said all this originally uh -huh. instead of that vague tweet i would have believed anything he said uh-huh <laughs> if this was the case all along and he says innocent as he claims like he's the one who helped push the pdf file narrative i just yeah. can't really wrap my head around what he was thinking but either way i do want to know what you guys think down below in the comments uh, you heard what we think man you know it's, been a, it's been your boy the 10 superman it's been your boys uh the number 10 and oh my fault <clears throat> yeah doc that was stupid that was dumb and um, we don't believe nothing you said. It sounded like he was lying the whole stream.